I'm Matt, uh, otherwise known as the Fridge Hiker. Uh, Monday to Friday, I'm just your everyday bloke in a suit. I work for a large car auction company. Um, but I had a harebrained idea one day last year to raise some money for charity. So it was 50 miles um, over the Cumbrian Three Peaks, which is Scarfell Pike, Helvellyn and Scudor. Oh, right. So it's a full circumference of that area of the Lake District, um, non-stop in 24 hours. I'm Jo. Um, I'm 41 years old, still serving in the Army currently. Um, and I'm at Nine Regiment. Four or five months ago, I was then um, told I had PTSD, anxiety and depression. I had no idea I had it at all. Um, and it they kind of um, dates back to when I was in Northern Ireland. And I was in um, a Saxon vehicle. And basically what happened was the, um, the guys who wanted to attack at us, they threw glue at the front of the vehicle right. and then they set fire to it. And to get out of the vehicle, you have to lean forwards and then lean back. Um, but my my seat was locked, and so I was almost locked in the, in, in the, in the chair. It uh, felt like it was like about three hours to get out. It, it wasn't, it was probably about 20 seconds. Yeah. Uh, eventually got out, and, and I laughed about it. I just had a bit of a giggle, and, and that was pretty much it. And that's how we dealt with it. I mean, yeah. you talk in, in the 90s, so that's how we dealt with it. It wasn't really a, a big thing. Can I ask you, why do you carry a fridge on your hikes and, and the things that you do? It came from, I guess, looking at our military's history um, and the weights of the packs that, that they carry. Mm. Um, I started with the Falklands um, during that campaign. Um, the troops were carrying around 30 to 35 kilograms in their packs through that sort of terrain. So the fridge is obviously a symbol that everybody sees every day. Um, it's a household object. Mm. But if you carry a rucksack, people can't quite see the, the weight of the rucksack. So you strap a fridge on your back and people all of a sudden get the light bulb moment. and. They can just, I guess, liken what they know to obviously the weight that it is. From your perspective, how's Help for Heroes helped you um, in, I guess, your period of recovery and, and what's it done for you? It's changed my life. I mean, I was drinking stupid amounts of alcohol um, and I was doing things that I thought were normal in a, in a normal world. I then realised that it, it wasn't normal. But also it's introduced me to people who are like-minded, who have a mental mental attitude, if you like, the same as me. You and other people really do change, you change my life completely. Um, the money that you guys raise really helps individuals like me. And every day, it, it, it changes for the better. Um, so it, it's a good thing that you're doing, and I can't, I can't thank you enough. And I know, I know if there was everybody that was here would be thanking you as well, even though Utterly bonkers, but absolutely fantastic. You know, you, you, you know you're talking you yourself into coming on the next one. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs>